Hello and welcome to Mobility Mastery Monday. I'm Alicia and this is your weekly source for the best tips and tools for pain relief and feeling unstoppable. And today I am going to show you two shoulder mobility stretches that are actually stretches for the shoulder joint um, and kind of the ligaments and tendons right around the joint. Um, so we're not actually going after fascia today, but this is a good one for all of you Olympic lifters or anybody doing a lot of weightlifting where you want shoulder mobility or if you think that you actually have a stiff joint, um, a partially frozen shoulder or anything like that, you could try using this stretch to gain some mobility in your shoulder joint. Uh, so for this one, we're going to use a PNF stretch along with um, the mobility stretch for the shoulder joint. And PNF stands for proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation. It's a fancy word. Um, but basically, it just means we're going to use some muscle activation um, resisted movement to uh, fatigue the tissues and allow you to then take the stretch further than it would normally go without your soft tissue resisting the stretch. So this is one reason why I love um, PNF stretching um, for joints. Yes, most of the time you're going to end up using it for muscles, but um, it works really well for this shoulder stretch. So I didn't invent this stretch. A personal trainer, a friend of mine who I was training with four years ago, showed me it and I loved it and started using it when I was doing a lot of Olympic lifting. I don't know who came up with it, but um, I happen to love this stretch, so I'm just not wanting to claim responsibility for inventing it. Okay, so you are going to need um, a pipe, a pole, a broom, a stick of some kind like this uh, for the stretch. And um, if I'm gonna stretch my right shoulder, I'm gonna hold the pole in my left hand and I'm gonna wrap my right arm around and palm is going to be on the side of it you don't want to grab it you want kind of just a flat palm and then we're looking for 90 degrees and 90 degrees um, for the stretch to work properly you do not want to let your shoulder drop um, you could be maybe just a little bit higher and that would be okay but ideally it's 90 degrees and then basically you're going to use this left hand to pull so this isn't holding on grabbing or pushing in any way um, and you're going to pull it backwards this way without your shoulder dropping or the elbow dropping. Now I am hypermobile, <laughs> so um, you might not have this much mobility right, right away. This is probably going to be more common. Um, and then basically we're going to use a PNF stretch to get the most out of this. So I'm going to take it as far as I can without um, taking it over my edge for my shoulder and you will do the same. And then you're gonna use this right hand to push back this way. And it needs to be just a gentle push. You don't wanna actually use a lot of like muscle force. So take it as far as you can. And then just a gentle three second push. And then take it back to the starting. Reset. And you should be able to go further. And then you'll push again. Take it back. Take it further. Maybe three of these I like. And then the last one, you can just hold it. Um, and you don't want to strain your shoulder, so just take it as far as your shoulder is comfortable going into a good stretch, but nothing too aggressive. And you might hold it for 20 seconds or so, and then let it go, shake it out. And if you need to do it on the left side, do it on the left side or whichever shoulder you're trying to stretch. So once again, just a quick recap here. You're gonna hold with your left hand for stretching your right shoulder, wrap the right arm on the inside, and then around to the outside with the hand, you're looking for 90 degrees and 90 degrees. And then you're pulling without letting your shoulder travel out to the side, down or too far up. Um, and then pushing against for three seconds, taking it back, pulling it back, pushing for three seconds. Um, and that's how you do it. So we're gonna do a second stretch now that is similar, but just stretches that shoulder joint in a slightly different way. And I like combining them both, but if you don't have a pole, this is a great one to do on its own. Um, and if you can get a pole, definitely do the other one because that one is fabulous. So again, for this one, if you're gonna do your right shoulder, you're gonna go down onto your right side on the floor. And you want your shoulders kind of stacked on top of each other. Um, this right arm is gonna be straight out um, in front of you palm up to start with and then bend at the elbow and rotate that hand so it faces away from you. Again, you don't want to let your uh, elbow travel this way. So we're looking for 90 degrees and 90 degrees. And then you're going to take that left hand and push down 
Again, I'm hypermobile, so you might not have the mobility I have, but you want to take it to kind of your edge, like where you feel a really good stretch in the joint itself. Um, and then we're going to use that PNF um, technique of pushing back for three seconds and then releasing, seeing if you can go further and then pushing back again for three seconds. Gentle pushback. It does not have to take a lot of muscle. Um, maybe do that three times and then the fourth time you'll just hold the stretch for 20 to 30 seconds. Um, again, a gentle stretch. You don't want to be like jamming down on that joint. So just gentle hold in what feels like a really good stretch for the joint and then let it go. Maybe shake it out um, and get to your workout. So those are my two picks for stretching the shoulder joint. Um, reasons again for using this are if you're into CrossFit or you're lifting a lot of weight and you want shoulder mobility, if you feel like you actually have a stiff joint, um, maybe you have a partially frozen shoulder. If you have a fully frozen shoulder, I wouldn't recommend this, but if it does feel kind of stiff or um, immobile in the joint itself, these are great stretches to gain some mobility in the shoulder joint. So for the full blog post accompanying this video, click the link below. And if you liked it, like it and share it. And I will see you next time on Mobility Mastery Monday.